In this video, we want to show you the Georgetown area in the southeastern Exuma Islands of the Bahamas. A short dinghy ride away, you can visit the world-famous Chat and Chill Beach, home to a variety of fun activities and gatherings, conch bar, picnic tables, and a small bar with pub fare and drinks. It's the cruiser's gathering spot, and you don't want to miss it. Across Elizabeth Harbor is Georgetown. We're going to try to show you as much as we can in the time we're here, including important cruiser information like trash removal, a few businesses and services, fuel dock, grocery, beer, wine, liquor, in addition to some of the town's other offerings, including the dinghy dock and where you can fill up free water. After that, we're going to take you on a quick tour of some popular hiking trails. In addition to some cool hiking, there's also great snorkeling. We didn't dine out very often, but found a few dining options because every once in a while, like a boat anniversary, you need to order a steak. We had pretty good luck fishing and we continued to catch and eat a lot of conch. So stick around for this and more to come. Chill with us in the Bahamas. It's an amazing place to visit. Georgetown is populated with roughly 3,000 people, but a temporary home to thousands more sailors and cruisers from around the world. It's located on Great Exuma Island, southwest of the very popular Stocking Island. Most cruisers come down the Exumas and enter through Conk Key Cut. In good conditions, it's a fairly easy entrance, and many have navigated it to reach the popular anchorages of Stocking Island and Georgetown. Georgetown itself is over 200 years old, initially established in August 1792. It was known to be used by pirates, including Blackbeard and Captain Kidd, in the 17th century. Fun fact, the Tropic of Cancer runs directly through Georgetown. Now that the pirates are long gone, it's time for the cruisers to gather at the number one spot on Stocking Island. Good old chat and chill. Let's take a look around. One thing's for certain, the beers are always cold and the rum drinks are pretty good. And although we didn't eat, the food looked pretty good. There were times when this place was super busy and then there were other times we went over when it seemed nobody was around at all. But the entire area has picnic tables and places to sit down and eat, a conch salad bar and just a ton of fun things for people to do. Sometimes people will throw bait in and rays will come by and nurse sharks and bonefish. All in all, it's a pretty cool spot to go meet up with people, hang out, play volleyball, toss some bean bags, and just plain chill. important things you're going to need to do when you are full-time cruisers as we are is find stuff. Where are we going to go do that? So we're going to go head over to Georgetown and we're going to show you guys where to drop off your trash, get some water, find some groceries, maybe fill our propane tank. It's a little windy but we're going to ride the chop across the channel. You ready? Let's go. So this is the harbor as you're coming into Lake Victoria. You go through this little cut through and then there's the dock, which I'll show you in a moment. One of the many awesome features of the Georgetown dinghy dock is right here off the dock. When you dinghy in, they got this awesome water fill. As you can see this couple is getting their jerry cans filled right now. Super convenient, another nice feature of Georgetown, they take care of their cruisers here. Mm -hmm. 
just up from the dinghy dock is a super convenient little trash truck. As soon as you get up the dock, take a right and put some money in the window. Trash taken care of. Liquor stores here in town. This is one of them, the 242 Prime Spirit. So let's go check it out. Where we're going. Oh, so this is the second liquor store. When your boat is named Rum Tot, you gotta go to both. There are two grocery store options in town, and both are quick walks from the dinghy dock. Everything in Georgetown arrives on a mailboat from Nassau, and it's not unusual to see some empty shelves. It's a good idea to hit both grocery stores while you're there. In addition to that, everything is very, very pricey compared to the states. We did heavy provisioning before we left the States, but after a few months, you gotta do some shopping. Every morning at 9 a.m., you can tune in to the Georgetown Cruisers Net on Channel 72. It's an informative way to find out what's going on and it's also a lot of fun. We really enjoy it. Every morning, pour a cup of coffee, hang out on 7-2, and listen to the Cruiser's Net. We mentioned it in a previous video if you want to check out more details, but great way to start your morning. New Horizons. New Horizons. Going to get the propane. Propane while you're in Georgetown to the boat. You can park, um, there's a beach right out from the Zuma Beach Resort, and there's a couple bars there, you can't miss it. One's called Hideaway, and then you just walk across the street. Now we're gonna walk up this hill a quarter mile, and it's gonna be on the left. That's the cheap way to do it, so you can also, if you don't wanna do the cheap way, there's some delivery services you can use. There's a guy named Jamal that's real popular, but we're cheap, so we're walking. Here we go. Yeah, and then in the middle way is if you go to Western Union, what's that oh, place yeah, called? Oh yeah, Forbes, uh, Forbes. Forbes has a drop off. Forbes has a drop off too, yeah. But again, we a little, pay a little extra. extra bucks. We don't we wanna don't, pay extra bucks. We don't wanna pay any extra bucks. Almost to the top of the hill. We walk. And then, whoops. And then, I have to walk all the way up the hill. And it's close to three o'clock. Propane tank still empty yeah and nobody there to fill it no they closed early apparently so there's that island time island time the propane store is also closed on the weekends so monday morning it was another long dinghy ride across the bay take two I got here a little earlier this time hey we made it through the gate Cost us 13 bucks to fill our five pound tank, FYI. Down the hill we go. What do you think, Chris? Is it gonna be a good one? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a wonderful one. I'm sorry, I was reading something and typing, so I didn't really hear what, what's wonderful. A hike? Hike. Hike, yes, let's hike on the beach and it'll be wonderful. <laughs> You'll see on your Navionics that very close to Sand Dollar Beach is an art trail. The trail is filled with quirky little creative pieces made by cruisers just like you. So when you come by, be sure to bring something along with you. Nice. Irish. 
Patriots. The Patriots. <laughs> and be sure to follow the trail to the spectacular views on the other side. The other must-do hike is definitely Monument. But if you are on a cruising boat, you will definitely want to stop in this area first. There you will join hundreds of other boaters and mark your spot in the rocks. like Matt does sometimes. Y'all are freaking crazy for coming straight up this hill. It's insane. I followed the trail. That was still hard. And holy cow. Wow. Yeah. You can't tell how steep that is, but uh, it's steep. Well, we've made it to the monument, which is not too bad of a hike at all. And the view from up here you can see all of the names, the people it's spelled. You can see all through the harbor and over to Chat and Chill and on up to Sand Dollar, which is where we are. So we dingied again down by this little tree here and walked around up, down, up again. The best thing about these trails is they lead straight to the Atlantic Ocean and spectacular views. You can never really get tired of looking at views like this. Is chefing it up. Got some lobster tail at the store. Last day of the season lobster. Yeah. Had to get, had to get one because I didn't get one on my own. What you gonna do with those lobster tails? Grill them. Grill it ready right now. I'm late. I'm late. I'm very busy. We're busy. I'm very late. Grills are ready to heat. Very Pasta's late. Pasta's already done. I'm late. Get this order out. Very late. Very busy. The customers are gonna be upset. <laughs> On island time. Mm. Holy cow. Briefly, made a penne pasta in the food processor. I did Parmesan cheese, tomatoes, garlic, mushrooms, uh, carrots, just a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Made a little sauce and then. Uh, yeah. And then the lobster was simple. I just boiled it for a couple minutes um, because it was a little cold and they're small. So a couple minutes boiled briefly um, and then put them on the grill yeah. for about five minutes on the shell side, about yes. one minute on the uh, flesh side. And then I topped them with a pan that I sauteed, butter, garlic, red onion, da -da 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 -da, salt and pepper, whatever, Perfect. whatever. Yeah. Do us a favor and hit the like and subscribe button as it really helps other YouTubers find our channel. And join us next time as we leave Georgetown and head down to the Ragged Islands on a whole new sailing adventure of days and nights of traveling through the Bahamas.